What's up everybody? I am so excited because it's September, my favorite time of the year to be out here on the beach chasing coho salmon. I want to show you guys a little breakdown video how I like to go about this. I keep it super simple, so we're going to go right into the fact of what we do. I like taking just a simple approach and go one rod. Now this is just an 8 foot 6 velocity, my go to as I call it in a lot of the videos. But an eight foot six to a nine foot rod is gonna be perfect for you guys' application. A 2,500 to a 3,000 size reel, 12 to 15 pound test, and you're set. Now this rod can handle a little bit heavier line. It's a 12 to 20 rating. So it can handle a little bit bigger fish because there are always a chance on our beaches to not only get a nicer size coho the later into the year that you go, you can also still catch kings. So I like a little bit something that can handle it and we have a lot of fun as we get out here doing this. So the approach is simple as far as gear. One rod, a small tackle bag, and make this simple and easy. So I, as far as tackle wise go, I usually do a two approach. I have a buzz bomb, as you see rigged here, and I have wicked lures. I keep basically a spinner and the buzz bomb. The buzz bomb I use to get distance if those fish are jumping out a lot further and I use the wickeds when I get current and be able to swing them through just like a river situation where we're at today it's high tide and I'll break that in a second for as far as tides go but we're just starting to get the current to move I've already seen a couple fish jumping so there are around here and it's just a matter of finding them as they come close and intercept them you'll see fish jumping and it's a great sign to showcase you where they're at you also might see pods of bait and that can help you out too so what i like to do is i approach the beach as tides location i'm on the point side of a bay you can see behind me the point is going to give you the most tide movement and you can intercept those fish if they're coming from the inside through or coming this way and back across that point so it really can be helpful where you position yourself on the beach. For me though, I really just come out with the expectation of having fun. Because this is what it is to me. I grew up doing this, I love doing it, um, but keeping it simple and having fun. So I try for tides roughly about two hours before the high tide and an hour after, because high tide pushes the, fee the fish the closest to you in casting distance. So I really try to do that to give myself the most opportunity at the fish. Now, however, you still can catch fish at any tide. So just go out and fish really is what it comes down to. Now, if you want to see what's in my pack in the gear that I carry, check out this video right here and I'll walk you right through it. 